want to start out by pointing out this little icon, ABC Cubed, is what we've entitled our program around getting the active boards in the classrooms. And that stands for Active Board Cubed. And the cubed is our clever way of saying creating collaborative classrooms. And it really is becoming that as we move forward. So when we talk about ABC Cubed, that really is our Active Board project. Thinking about doing a big district-wide project like that. Some of you have active boards or smart boards or some sort of whiteboard in your classrooms. Some of you have them in some schools, some grade levels, etc. Some of you have more or less. I just want to get, get a sense from you, if you were thinking about doing a district-wide implementation, would your first thought be, do you think the most effective way to be just do the whole district at one time, everybody gets it, everybody's trained, you do it all at once? Or B, would you do it whole school by whole school? So you would say, this school really seems ready, we'll do this school, this school's ready, we'll do this school. Or would you just check grade level across the district, possibly, all the fourth graders, because that's where they do a test and, and the increased engagement's gonna help kids do better. Or would you put a few in each school and then expand the project across? Um, give me your answers here. There's no right answer, but there was a right answer for us. Interesting. D. Oh. D. In few in each school, then expand. Oh. And there's an F, which is, I think, all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. This is very interesting. I'm going to talk more about that, but not to like to make you just sit in anxiety. That is exactly what we did. So we'll talk more about that. Okay. Lake Washington School District is a very high-performing school district in Redmond, Washington. Um, we have 48 schools, 24,000 children. Um, we're not that diverse. Um, we have 1,400, almost 1,500 teachers. Here's, an, here's just a look, and I've kind of just thrown these pictures in as we go. We did a very incremental approach here, and when I asked that question about what comes first, the projector or the, you know, the active board or whatever, the answer is, I, our answer was you put a ceiling-mounted projector. Um, but the main thing that, that we learned is not to give the teachers everything at once because they just... I mean, just to learn how to use a projector and to turn them off and to turn them on and then you get the clean filter thing and oh my God, what do you do then? And you know, there's just all these pieces to that. So here we started out with the presentation station. They had a ceiling mounted projector and a presentation station. So they had all of these pieces in every single classroom that has the audio enhancement as well as the DVD and the computer presentation system. Um, here's where we did our evaluation um, again. Our original teacher who had the grant got a smart board, and he liked the smart board. But as we thought we'd move forward, we thought we need to do due diligence. This is taxpayers' money, and we need to be able to, to respond to why active, why active boards, why Promethean. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what they said. And I have to tell you, I, <laughs> this is a lot of words on a slide, I know that, but I took, I took verbatim what some of the people said, and there were three maybe four main reasons that our teachers overwhelmingly chose Promethean. Number one, the Active Studio software is just so intuitive, so, intuitive, so educator friendly. Um, the tools on there, how the manipulatives actually work, they're not just manipulatives. Um, they just really, really love that and still love that. Can't wait for Active Studio 3. Um, this is another thing. I, I don't know how many of you have relationships with Promethean, or, or, but it, it, we've really had a really, really positive partnership with them. Um, and what's really special for us is that they work with educators. They are educators. They work with educators. And SMART certainly has a great product, but they also have, they're, they're serving the corporate America. And it really is two different, two different worlds. So it really was great for us to be able to know that we had people who understood our crazy, unique environment. And lastly, I thought this was so interesting. On the Promethean, certainly you need to use the, the pen. On a smart board, you can use your finger. And of all the people who complained when we did our testing, the kindergarten teachers said, we do not want our kids to learn to write without a utensil because then they're gonna go to life and just go, okay, well, let me just show you how I, and it wasn't gonna work. And so um, they wanted to have that pen device as instead. So these were the reasons, these were the compelling reasons that, that we chose district-wide implementation of active board. Okay, so as far as the purchase, um, 
these just kind of seem like trivial details, but we did a lot of negotiating. We, what was great here is working with Promethean. As we did our pilot, they helped us a lot in the areas that we had troubles. We had monthly conference calls, or weekly conference, conference calls with them. We had a team, and we were able to say, you know, here's an issue, and, and we worked it through. Um, and we, ta we talked a lot about, you know, help us help you and help each other. So we've been learning how to get our teachers involved in teacher features and these kind of things. And on the other hand, then we've created a video because we're excited and we've been able to share that with Promethean because it, it's worked. So, so this has been, these are things to think about when you're negotiating, you're purchasing and, and building the relationship with, with whatever vendor. Um, I've, had, I've had good luck with vendors and bad luck with vendors and bad luck with vendors is, is a bad thing. <laughs> so anyway. Okay, so that's the purchasing. Sarasota talked about this on the installs too. Again, one of the main pieces of feedback when we got, when people you know, gave us feedback, they said, thank you for not giving it all to us at once. That was too much. So um, they, that was a very important piece. So we did it in that order. Um, oh boy. <laughs> one of our biggest issues in doing this whole thing, you know, the things you just don't think of, where do you mount it? So we decided, okay, we're going to do it right above the chalkboard tray because that's what they're used to as long as, as the chalkboard tray was around this thing. There was no way we were going to make everybody happy. There was just no way. So some of them, the teachers are going, oh, can you move it up because, you know, I'm short and my kids are tall and I can't see it or vice versa. So we had a wonderful solution. It's not called the Promethean Wand. It was called an aerobic step stool. <laughs> So we, <laughs> we bought aerobic step stools for teachers who needed height either for themselves or for when the kids came up. Um, this would have been fabulous to be able to move it and move it up and move it down. So if you can do this, that, that was an issue. I don't know if you have found that to be an issue. So anyway, um, this was a really important piece too. I don't know if this happened to you, but we had to have signs that says, this is an interactive whiteboard. Do not use right dry erase marker because <laughs> we had some of those. So these, they're little tiny tidbits, but as you think about it, they're really, really important, important pieces. So anyway, otherwise that's a classroom. Um, white space, huge, huge, huge issues. They're just coming, oh, my whiteboard's gone, oh my gosh. It's like, no, it's actually, it's really not gone. <laughs> it's still right here, and you can do all this plus that, and, but they still did have the, the pieces on the side. But this, I think, I am most proud of, our train the trainer model and how we did this. Um, when we did our pilot, we trained those teachers, and then when we were going to move out to a district-wide rollout, we got four teachers per school, and we didn't select the teachers, and we worked with the principals to say, give us the teachers. If you could do some sort of democratic kind of activity in your school to select the teachers, we wanted teachers who, um, and somebody mentioned this this morning, we didn't just want teachers who were good with technology. We wanted respected, energetic good teachers to be able to do this. So we did, we got great, great teachers. And then the active vote rollout I think is an important piece and that is right now, we started out in our pilot, each school got active votes. Folks, these active votes are transformational. It just gives me chills what I've seen. I, it's just blows me away. You know, and we focus so much time as I showed you back on, you know, these state mandated tests you know, that's like doing an autopsy and trying to save them. It's like, what? It, it, it's already done. <laughs> so the active votes are helping us diagnose the disease. <laughs> anyway, um, this, is, this is big, big, great stuff. I, 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 I'm using it with my teachers, and it's really helping me to figure out what a poor job I did. You know, I'm like, oh, let's talk about 21st century skills, and zero of them knew. I thought, hmm. <laughs> Maybe that was me. So we redid that and we got better. So anyway, um, this part is huge. Getting experts trained, helping those train their people and putting them in a comfortable environment where it's okay to fail was huge. This is just an example. We gave them options of how their training model went um, because there were so many different options. And I won't bore you with the details, but options are always good would be the goal. So. Um, I guess in closing, I just would like to, to say thank you for, for giving me the opportunity to talk with you, and thank you to each of you for the great things you're doing for kids. It's, our little digital natives need us to keep up the fight.